Hey YouTube, this is Koi2281, letting you guys know that 3.1 Jailbreak is officially here. <laughs> this is not the um, Jailbreak released by the dev team, but this is a homebrewed um, Jailbreak that does work. I've tested it, and you shouldn't have any problems with it. If you do, don't be afraid to ask. I will help. First of all, you need to go to the first link I have in the description over there. And you'll be um, directed to this website right here. You need to choose the device that you want to jailbreak. iPod Touch 2nd Gen, iPod Touch 1st Gen, iPhone 3G, iPhone 2nd Gen. Unfortunately, guys, there is no 3GS jailbreak yet. Um, as soon as there is, I will post another video for y'all, okay? Alright, I'm going to choose the iPhone 3G. Right here is... Um, uh, the um, custom IPSW file or restore file that you need um, to restore with in iTunes this automatically has City installed on it you need to get that and also you need to get um, the actual software to jailbreak it with um, they have it for Mac and they have it for, um, for Windows I'm getting the Windows Put sa um, save it to your desktop Now, once the um, custom IPSW file is on your desktop, and you have the um, IH8, wait a minute, IH8 Snow is on your desktop, then you're you're ready to go. I think your firmware comes in a zip file. If it does, just take it and drag it to your desktop. That's all you got to do. Okay, let's get started, y'all. First of all, I want you to um, open up the um, the IHE <laughs> the IH8 Snow file. Press Run. It's going to give you like all kinds of little pop-ups saying that you need to be careful doing this or whatever. Um, you're fine. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show you guys step by step how to do this. Just keep pressing OK. OK. Now you're at this um, command prompt saying that um, you need to press enter to continue. Alright, now you need to put your iPhone in DFU mode. If you do not know what DFU mode is, watch this, I will show you how to do it. Okay, make sure your phone is powered on. Okay, first of all, one second. You need to hold down the um, home, oh, sorry, the home button and the power button until your computer powers off. Then you're going to keep holding the home button another 10 seconds, and your computer will make another noise. Your iPhone will be like unresponsive to the power button, and you will not be able to turn it on. That is DFU mode. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, took thirteen seconds. Your iPhone needs to be plugged in when you do this, guys. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that, but it needs to be plugged in. Okay. Now, after your phone is in DFU mode, go ahead and press enter. Okay, this is telling you that it's working, and your phone should get a white screen here in a second. There we go. If you got a white screen, then you're doing 100% great. <laughs> um, after you got a white screen, go ahead and exit out of the command prompt right here. Okay. Now, since your iPhone is ready to be jailbroken, um, and you know where your um, your custom IPSW file is, just open up iTunes. Alrighty now. iPhone has been detected in recovery mode. Press OK. What you're going to do is um, press the restore button. But at the same time, you need to press the shift button right here. 
So, I'm oh, sorry, yeah, right there. Shift and restore. Okay, now you browse for your firmware. Right there. It should have VTX underscore IH8 SNOW dot IPSW. Now open it up. Okay, now your iPhone is restoring to the um, hacked firmware. You're going to, um, after it reboots from the restore, you're going to notice that your um, boot logo has changed. One second, y'all. I'll show you guys. Alright, there's the boot logo. Um, it says, iPhone, welcome to the future OS 3.1 jailbroken. Okay. And if you notice, your um, Apple logo right here, there will be like a translucent shadow beneath it. It will show like the old version of the um, Apple um, icon. It's like a, a rainbow color. It's pretty sweet looking, I think. Um, if you guys want to um, get this like off there, like if you want to remove the, this boot logo, um, give me a few days and I'll try to figure out how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and prove to y'all that I am on 3.1. I should have done that at the beginning of the video. I apologize for that. Once this um, is done, you're going to be, um, once it's done, you need to, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, your iPhone will be at the um, pink screen where you need to activate it. Um, if you do not have a developer account or your UDID is not registered to a developer account, I'm going to show you guys how to bypass that now because your iPhone is jailbroken. It's possible to bypass that now. Just wait for it to reboot. Okay. Go ahead and slide to unlock. Okay, guys, right there is Cydia. And let me show you guys, I'm running on 3.1. Okay, general. A. And I'm sure you could tell my iPhone was jailbroken anyway because of all the icons. <laughs> Unfortunately, Winterboard does not work yet, y'all. Okay, as soon as your um, iPhone gets done restoring, I'm going to need y'all to watch my second video on how to activate it for free. Um, I already have a video up on how to do that, but um, this video will be in the link. It, it will be in more info over there and um, you can just watch that as soon as you get done with this and you'll be all set hope this helped guys and this is Koi2281 please rate, comment, and subscribe and I will keep y'all updated on all iPhone and iPod software